Ahoy, quichelings. I changed up my opening because we're doing Mars Attacks Popeye today. Uh, this is a comic I stumbled upon while I was looking for like the original 1919 comics of Popeye back when it was known as Thimble Theater. So if anybody knows the whereabouts of where to find those, let me know down below. But uh, yeah, just to give you a little insight about this, it's, this comic came out in 2013. It is a weird mashup of Popeye, obviously, but Mars Attacks. You're like, where does that come from? Well, for those more astute, there was a movie that came out in uh, 1995 by Tim Burton, and it was actually based on a 1962 set of, like, you know, like trading cards under the same name and it just showed off like what martians would do when they attacked earth like they would bring back dinosaurs they would set whole herds of cattle on fire destroy monuments all that kind of stuff it, it interesting set of cards um and then he just adapted it into a movie well the this and I, like when i first saw this i did not know that they were the same martians but the more i looked into it i was like Holy crap, just looking at this cover, I was like, how did I not see that connection? I enjoy that movie. Um, but, a little spoiler ahead for that movie, the Martians are defeated by, like, golden oldie music. So I'm thinking, because this is Popeye, maybe spinach is their weakness. Also, we see the uh, witch hag. Or, yeah, witch hag. It's like one of his oldest foes. Um, over there so she probably teamed up with the Martians here on the cover and they're just kind of blasting Olive in the booty and he looks like he's about to either eat the spinach or throw the can at the <laughs> or maybe he already did they kind of broke in the glass there but I don't know if that's hmm. he might be throwing cans of spinach at them twister sock punch the sock part I don't get twister punch I get a lot um Let's see here, going further into this, okay, nice little, like, for who wrote and did the art and everything, you got like this very, like, I don't even know what that style is, but I've seen it before, like these generic robots with the Martians in them, and he's just like, you ruined me day at the beach. I can't do a good Popeye impression, guys. I can only do the, ka 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 and the, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, that's about it. Um... Every time I do, I end up just sounding more Irish. Uh, but anyway, Thimble Theater presents EC Cigars, Popeye and Mars Attacks, Panic from the Sky. Ooh, is it, how, how is this stylized? Like, it looks very much, like, over-stylized on the cover, but, like, this looks more like what the comics were, so I'm interested to see. And apparently we will have the Martians, Olive is in it. Eugene the Jeep, we got Wimpy, we got Alice the Goon. Most people don't know who they are. The Goons, again, same thing. We got the Sea Hag, uh, Professor, oh god, I don't think I've ever had to pronounce his name. What a Snozzle, Castor Oil, that's Olive's brother for those wondering, and Poop Deck Pappy. Oh lord. Just, I know these characters. Not in great detail, but I know enough of them. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, it isn't done in the old kind of style. I love it. Uh, late one stormy night. Oh, I don't like uh, thunderstorms. I hope Popeye and Castor are all right. I'm, I'm going to do voices, people. Just You just wait. And there's her dad. Um, I'm pretty sure that's her dad. Coal oil, they're all just named after different kinds of oil. Except non-oil, because I don't think banana oil is a thing. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Good gravy. How you fret. A little thing like a maroon, uh, like a monsoon, not a maroon, <laughs> uh, means nothing to Popeye. He and Castor will be back from their trip in the morning, just like they said. I can't help it, Papa. I feel like... Oh dear, I, I can't help it. I can't do a good olive, sorry. I just kind of either slip into it or I don't. I feel like something terrible is going to happen. Well, apparently. 
Turn up the radio on your way to bed, will you? My favorite program's coming on. Well, he looks like he's about to fall asleep anyway. Uh, there you go, or there you are, Papa. Good night. And really old style radio, like that thing's like a Victrola on steroids. Um, he's just kind of listening to the music as he lulls to sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this broadcast to report that a number of flaming objects, which are most likely meteors, have fallen on a quiet seaside town of its sweet haven, isn't it? Meanwhile, just over the hill, yep, there, there's a cow. The cow's like, oh, <laughs> believe it or not, invaders from Mars. Yep, there they are. And they're, they're doing like their little speech, which in the movie they went, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Oh, I bet that's the sea hag. Yep, that's the sea hag. You can see the bird on her shoulder. Yep, there she is. Scroll down a little. Welcome to Sea Haven. Or Sweet Haven. It's not Sea Haven. Um, maybe it's a haven from the sea, but it's Sweet Haven. Um, the, uh, I've been expecting you. Ah, uh, yes. Pretty little gem, is it not? What what little gem is that? It looks like a 12-sided die. <laughs> um, see how it sparkles? You're getting drowsy, drowsier, drowsier still. You have no will of your own. <laughs> so he, she hypnotizes them. But she said, I've been waiting on you. So did she summon them? I mean, she uses magic, sure, but like, would she even, like, given the technological level that Popeye had, it was very much of its time, so like the early 1900s, so it's like, would she, even with magic, be able to contact or know of, you know, species on other planets? Um, but anyway, okay, so we got Popeye here on the ship, uh, the, the next fine morning. That basket. Uh, Castor, I tells you, it was no monsoon, or marnsoon. Oh, God, the pop I speak. I seen, I seen smokes, and where there's smokes, there's fires. I sees there is. Good gosh, looks like you were right, Popeye. Something terrible has happened. Okay, so the, the town has just freaking been burnt to the ground. Shit. <laughs> Egads, could the storm have done all this damage? Weren't snow... Tempest. We's got enemies. Look, it's the Jeep. Okay, but just Eugene just pops up. Maybe he can tell us what happened. Ask him, Popeye. Aw, Rough House Restaurant. That, that's like... Aw, that just makes me think of the movie, which there was a Popeye movie in 1980 starring Robin Williams in his first uh, major role in a movie. He was Popeye. <laughs> And he did a good voice, and he played the character well, though the movie was based more on the old comics, which most people had not actually read at the time, given that it was, you know, uh, like 70 years prior, <laughs> you know? Uh, but it just, it just, the uh, yeah, it didn't do well. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I was confused my first few times watching it, but the more I learned about it, the more I was like, I like this movie. Now, Eugene, uh, listen up good. Uh, does you know what happens to, uh, with the olive and everyone? Is they all white? <laughs> uh, look at that. He's saying they're safe. Oh, thank goodness. How do you know him just wagging his little tail up in the air is like saying, okay, Castor, you are way shorter than I thought you were. Well, actually, no way. I think I have seen pictures of him before. So, yeah, he was kind of short. I keep thinking that he's like this tin tin looking fellow. Another old comic, by the way. Um, the, uh, but I think I'm thinking of Ham Gravy. Another weird character. It was Olive's first boyfriend before she started uh, dating the Psela. Uh, in the storm cellar. Everyone's here. And Wimpy is raiding the freezer. Um, well, blow me down. Oh, Papa, it was awful, just awful. Don't worry about Sweet Pea Ma. Uh, took him to 
Chesterville to visit our cousins. Okay, I don't know Chesterville, uh, but anyway, such an awful sight ain't for the eyes of infants. What cause this? Uh, oh God! Like I know that he talks in a weird like dialect ramble, but good Lord, some of this I can't even read. Um, Kalemaki, Olive. As the smartest man in this bright-witted community, bright-witted community, no, you are not. <clears throat> I believe that I, Professor Wadasnoozle, can answer that, Mr. Popeye. It is my considerable, uh, vastly educated opinion that we have been attacked by Martians. And his glasses are just kind of like, whoop. <laughs> What's a Martian? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's kind of like so non He's like literally in the same pose for the next three panels. What the hell? A Martian whom we shall scientifically refer to as Barshmusus Invader or Invaderus? What? <laughs> um, is an extraterrestrial biological entity in this case originating from the planet Mars, which occupies the fourth position in the relative. Uh, pronounced uh, orbital <laughs> eccentricity around our sun. Good look, Popeye. Now I see why Popeye's not like moving. He's just like, uh huh, yeah, uh huh. I just don't understand it at all. Uh, these obstructive entities are uh, obviously technologically more advanced than us and have more weapons probably even on an atomic nature to incur this alarming atrocity is there anything else you want to know yeah what's a marshkin <laughs> Popeye. i mean the professor was kind of a bit long-winded with his explanation this is probably his character because every time he seems to talk he has like a f like multiple paragraphs it looks like well, the important thing is that the Martians will inevitably attack again, if only I could obtain one of their terrible ray weapons, which I observed in the operation during late our last night's assault. Uh, for study, I may be able to discover a means to gain an advantage over them. Wait a minute, the Jeep with his fourth dimensional powers, maybe he could pinch one of those gizmos for us. Okay, so Caster's got a good idea. Uh, for those not aware, Eugene the Jeep is basically like a genie, all-powerful being. He looks like a cat-dog-like thing. And, yeah. Also, like, apparently the term Jeep, like, in the, the vehicular sense, I think was actually inspired by this very creature. I believe I've heard that before. So, uh... Because, like, how he could go anywhere he wanted, that's kind of how the Jeep was marketed for the military and then to the general public when they became more available to the populace as a mode of transport. Um, now, listen up, Eugene. Uh, you needs to nab one of them Moshkin's pop guns. Does, uh, does you think you can? Jeep, jeep. And he's, he's already on the ship, and they're like, <laughs> he grabbed the gun and and they cracked their skulls just trying to get to him or their domes they have like these air helmets because they can't breathe you know oxygen apparently um i mean i guess technically mars doesn't have like a breathable atmosphere so it, it makes sense that they probably breathe something different Eureka! Now off to my laboratory, provided it's still standing, and science will defeat these dastardly usurpers yet. And Popeye's just thinking, he's a screwball, that professor. <laughs> uh, but how is, like, the whole town was, like, apparently demolished, so why would his one lab still be standing, you know? Where are you going, Popeye? Moshkins are no Moshkins. I wins me fights with me fisks. I gotta go get myself an army. I sees I is. I says I is. I, I swear, just trying to pronounce this. And so, that is the whole story, Pappy. Uh, so as I'm asking, as you're one of my only, as I'm an only Orfkin son, 
one and only orphan son. He's not an orphan if he has a father. I swear, Papa, your your intellect just really baffles me sometimes. Um, and his logic. Will you helps me bash the maskins in the in the mush? Uh, won't you? And Pappy's just kind of sitting in his chair in the middle of the wreckage of once was his house. So maybe he's not the brightest person to be asking for help. Go away. Uh, me soldier, me yeah, me soldier days is done, and I ain't uh, like doing favors, especially for relatives. <laughs> I am shamed, is me pappy. Don't think I don't blame you, cause I does. I am disgustificated. <laughs> I is, I am, I am. Yeah. Oh, there's Alice the goon, and good lord, they put her in the weirdest outfit. Alice the Goon. Oh my gosh. I should offer be sneaking up on fellas that way. Uh, West of wars with Marskins. Yeah, we own Pappy. Me own flesh and blood. Letting me down, Alice. I don't know who akin to trust no more. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be just me against the, the Baskin. What is he saying when he says that? The Blaskin. Or is he saying the bastard? <laughs> if he's saying bastard, that's funny. Um, Marshkins with the odds against me. I am humiliated. And she's saying something in goon speak, apparently. It's just squiggles. Um, ah, I knows you means well, Alice, even if you can't understand your loony lingo. Uh, Holy crap, all the goons have shown up. Okay, he's got an army now. Well, blow me down. So that was what you was trying to say, Ellis. We's got ourselves a goon army. Off, off. Arf, arf. Well, is he a dog all of a sudden? Oh. But uh, let's see here. Later in the ruins of the lab. Oh, so his lab is destroyed, but somehow his equipment survived. I mean, I guess we saw chairs and stuff, so I guess the logic is there, but it's still stupid. Aha! Epso facto, at last, I surmise I have decoded the de encryption or encrypted Martian Omega Wave Frequency. This will... In You're just making this stuff up, aren't you, Professor? Um, this will instinctually affect and weaken all Martian ray guns within a 50-mile radius. So, literally the whole town, I'm guessing. Oh, that's nice. Psst. Caster, what does it, that mean? Okay, so Olive's like, what the hell's he talking about, bro? Uh, he's talking pig Latin, sis. Beats the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, never fear, I shall demonstrate, but I need a volunteer. Congratulations, Mr. Wimpy. I see your hand is raised. No, he's asking for a hamburger, I bet. Yes, uh, thank you too much. I volunteer, Mr. Olive. Oh, crap. <laughs> you idiot. Uh, wait a dang gone minute. Or doggone minute. Uh, don't point that crazy thingamabob at me. Relax, sir. You won't feel a thing, of course. Risks are part of laboratory science. I salute your courage. Oh, God. And he zapped him. And his clothes disintegrated. Yeah, it was a success. How? Okay, what did he say? The frequency within it would weaken all their ray guns, but this is just disintegrating their clothing, which I guess technically would work because if you crack their helmets enough and they can't breathe whatever gas that they breathe, this would be a way to get rid of their suits, and then, you know, normally that would probably just kill them outright. So, I guess this could work. But it's nothing as he described. <laughs> but still claims it as a success. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, Caster's not too happy, hiding his shame and his boxers. Hmm, not exactly the result I, was perce I had perceived, but at least my machine has re or reduced the power of this alien weapon. Otherwise, uh, Mr. Olive would have disintegrated to a worthless pile of carbon ash instead of merely disintegrating his outer garments. 
Yes, I'm a genius. Mm. Yeah, that was the thing in the movie, is that they disintegrate everything, like, usually down to the skeleton. So, yeah, Castor is probably lucky for that. Um, ahoy, Castor. What you doing in your skivvies? It ain't Saturday night. <laughs> God, the humor of this is ridiculous. Um, okay, so, uh, Popeye came on the scene, and now he's showing off the army, then outside. Technically, you're outside already because there is no building at this point. Uh, looky what we got. The Moshkins is gonna get the tar whooped out of them. I says they is. And here's the old sea hag. Um, hehe, <laughs> famous last words, I'm Bernard. Oh, is that the name of the bird? Um... Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not fully aware of all the characters, obviously, so that name doesn't mean much. So I'm assuming it's her, like, vulture pet. Oh, Papa, I'm so worried for you. Come back to me. And so she's hugging him and everything. Ah, uh, you knows I will, sweetie. And Castor now has a stylish little uh, lab coat. Um, suddenly, egad! And Alice is saying something. How horrible, what is happening? The ducks are on fire, and Wimpy is following them. He wants to make a duck sandwich. He did that in the Sinbad, um, like, Sinbad, or Popeye meets Sinbad the Sailor. Uh, short. Actually, it was like almost 20 minutes long, I think. Um, come over to the house for a duck dinner sometime. They brought the ducks. Oh, Lord. Even comes with knife and fork in hand. Uh, again, suddenly, he he he. What is that awful cackling sound? I can't stand it. Sounds like fingernails across a chalkboard. So, Olive and Castor just kind of like, ah. <laughs> so, it's you I should have known. Yes, Papa, it is I. And she has come with the arm man. Well, that, they look gross as all hell. I love it. Like, the, the, this part of their face is just like, their cheeks look like they're just kind of melting off. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, but yeah. Sea Hag. Yes, the Sea Hag, Terror of the Seven Seas, Queen of the Pirates, the last true witch. I, I actually think I read, like, just recently that, like, she has a sister who is also a witch, so... But anyway. <laughs> uh... And now, Master of the Martians, he he he. Who are you stand, or who are you to stand against me? Ready, aim, fire. And they're all firing their lasers, and everyone's clothes have been disintegrated. Alice wore undergarments, and the goons, they don't have any clothes, so. Well, it did tickles. Also, Popeye's wearing, uh, Kansas spinach. On his undies. I I don't believe it. Well, it did weaken the ray guns after all, so I guess the professor did at least give them a fighting chance. Believes it. I am what I am. And he's going over and just punching them. The goons are just like, boom, 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 boom. Hitting them with clubs and shit. Goons attack. They were kind of already doing that, Popeye, but okay, you be the commander of your army. This is outrageous. Ridiculous. Impossible. What are you dumb grunts waiting for? Begin plan B. And they're going, ack, ack, and they're hitting a little button with the whatever the hell that... Oh, there's a shadow being cast over Popeye in the next panel. I'm assuming the mothership. A gask. Who turned out the lights? Oh, it's the giant robot from the cover, isn't it? And it just stomps and just sends everyone flying. It probably stomped on their own people, but, you know, they're dead at that point. Oh, it's not the same robot. These are actually the ones from that stylized, um, like, credits page. And so, wait for it. Mars attacks. I sees it, but I don't believe it. And they're coming out of the sea now, so there's three of them. That cheating old witch, this ain't what you calls a fair fight. At the sight of the... Third Iron Colossus. Even the goons lost their savage nerve. Okay, so they're all fleeing with their little scribble line. 
I knows, Alice, I knows. And I don't think I blamed you, because I don't. <laughs> okay, so he... Oh, this is straight up the same page. Okay. I thought he was on the beach in the on the title page. Or not the title page, but the, um, the credits page. But now I'm realizing that was just when his clothes had been disintegrated. Okay. Come on, come on. I doesn't care how big he is. I ain't backing down. Oh, always the good sailor. And they're bashing him on the head. Actually, they're driving him into the ground, actually. Okay. Someone get this boy some spinach. <laughs> I've waited a long time for the moment. For this moment, my salty old enemy. And now I will crush you. Okay, you could just straight up kill him. Or could have killed him, technically. I mean... But he's durable enough to just be drove into the ground, so maybe they wouldn't have been able to do anything? I don't know. Anyway. Sees you. Or says you. Oh, Pappy showed up. What? Where did you come from? And, w well, you're surrounded, you old goat. What are you going to do about it? He's just kind of standing there. They just kind of reused the same panel again with no text bubbles. Um... He just bu 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 bopped it right in the face. He's like, I'm all about the equality of the punching of the faces. Yeah, you don't leave me son like that, you sons of bitches. Uh, anyway, what are you wallin' in the mud for? Didn't you has no bringing up? No, I, because I think you abandoned him at one point. Come on, you're hurt. Uh, come on, yank harder, Pappy. Uh, gets me out of here. That sounds weird. He's just holding him by his pipe. <laughs> Good lord. You could at least grab him by the shoulders or something to pull him out of the hole. Now you looks like something the dog's digged up. Ah, that's better. So he's now out of the... <laughs> what the hell was this guy like? Oh, he brought the spinach. Oh, father, son, beaten. Coming your way, Martians. Eh... Here you go, Sonny. Uh, lucky I keeps a supply for emergency skis. I don't know how to pronounce that. You try and pronounce some of these words, I swear. G g get them! Smash them to pulp! Okay, well, they've, they've already downed the spinach, so you're kind of screwed. That's kind of how this goes. That hits the spot. Come on, let's get this over with, Peppy. Oi, blaskin' old witch. Don't, uh, knows who she's dealing with. I be what I be, and I be poop deck pappy, pride of the Pacific Rick. Yeah, I can't say these words. Uh, uh, if you don't like it, so they both grabbed a foot of one of the, the robots, and they're just kind of like about to flip it, it looks like. Yep, they kind of threw them into each other, and they're, they're kind of doing a different form of, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, except it's more Bash'em, Smash'em Robots, yes. Um, uh, step right up and lay right down. <laughs> uh, and now they're just beating up the poor little Martians that had no chance at all. Okay, they're going really fast now. Or fast, the uh. Biddly bang boom. Okay, well the last robot's now being just torn apart. And there's just a pile of Martians now on the ground, all smoking, somehow. The Martians are down for the count, Pappy. I says they is. Uh, what's a Martian? <laughs> I love that that's just the running joke. Okay, so two of them have gotten up and they're like, What's wrong with you? There's only those two sea rats against the whole bunch of it. You literally just saw what happened. And, bitch, you have fought Popeye numerous times. You know what happens when the spinach comes out, right? It means you about to go down. Magic, don't matter what, you going down. Because, you know, spinach is everything in this world. But anyway, they're going, ang, ang, and they're thinking about the beating. And it's like, ang, 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 ang. Going back to Mars again. <laughs> uh. No, no. You only imagine a entirely one uh, or you only imagined an entire one-eyed, pipe-smoking, superpowered armada surround you, or surrounding you because of their speed. 
Don't you see? The fact that two of you, only two took them out, should be even more frightening to them. You worthless, witless, gutless gargoyles, I command you, finish them off. Yeah, they. I don't think they're buying that. They're kind of just staring at each other. Oh, they've drawn their... Oh, good lord, they evaporated her clothing. Someday you will pay for this as they're leaving. I don't want to see this old lady in her undies. Arf, 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 says the town people. They're all laughing at her. And that was the end. Ah. Interesting. Okay, well, that, that was kind of fun. That was like a extended kind of like what I imagine a lot of the the thimble theaters are so not too bad the the humor is palatable I mean it's a little dated somewhat but even though it came out in 2013 but they're probably emulating the style of the comics up to that point so so uh, yeah not horrible the art style was nice it was very retro i enjoyed that um the plot was maybe a little eh like the the ray gun probably should have way more potential but hey it saved some people's lives potentially it saved alice and popeye's lives for sure and i mean caster didn't die from it so that's that's a plus too um, I'm a little surprised that Pappy actually came back into the story. I thought it was just going to be a one-off, and I was like, nope, I ain't gone. <laughs> uh, but no, he showed up. So, yeah. Interesting. But, uh, it, it's still a little weird, because, like, especially in the 1980s movie, he had abandoned Popeye. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that he's the way he is in this comic given that it's like oh, I would never leave my son and it's like you literally have you old forgetful coot but whatever that the humor was still there I suppose um but yeah typical extended like Popeye comic episode so yeah you know Martians attack Popeye comes into town realizes what's going to happen it's like oh crap I gotta save the town and you know the ray gun thing was an interesting inclusion i suppose i still was hoping that like the weakness of the martians would have been spinach you know like maybe they would get a whiff of it so like you you bust their helmet off and then they that he like force feeds them spinach and then their heads blow up because that's what happened in the movie um the the mars attacks movie of course um but yeah but I guess they were probably going for a younger audience with this. But still, the humor was fine and everything. And yeah. But yeah. Let me know what you thought of this. I'll obviously have... I should have mentioned this before. I'll have a link down for the comic below. So you can see everything as I was reading along and whatnot. And you give me your opinions. On the art style. The humor. The story. Even though both were of varying degrees, of course. And I understand that. But, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Anything that just kind of stuck out as a funny moment. Um, have you read any of the Popeye comics or anything before? Let me know. Or if there's any others out there that you want me to read or whatever, let me know that as well. But anyway, um, check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so that you can stay in the loop for my content and also have ways to contact me. I uh, stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet that out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Quiche Lings, eat your spinach. Mm -hmm.